Hello, inquiring minds around the world. Today, we will discuss the thrill of poetry. Wait, I know what you're thinking. Poetry? Boring. Well, I'm going to give it a shot. Let's dive into it. There are many different forms of art, including, but by no means limited to, number one, the visual arts, painting, drawing, photography, sculpture. Two, the performing arts, dance, music, theater, opera. Three, the digital arts, graphic and web design. Four, the literary arts or literature, fiction and nonfiction, prose and my personal favorite, poetry. And today, we will discuss this latter category, poetry. Poetry is a form of literary art which uses the aesthetic and evocative qualities of language that propels us beyond the composition's apparent or literal meaning, as well as beyond man's often ordinary, everyday existence. Poems often use rhythm, imagery, and figurative language to create a musical quality, a symphony of words which evokes emotions, ideas, and sensations. Poetry can take many forms, including sonnets, haikus, rhyming verse, and free verse, among others. Briefly, number one, a sonnet is a poem traditionally consisting of 14 lines of iambic pentameter look it up, and rhymes in a specific metrical pattern. Famous for the sonnet is Shakespeare. You heard of him, right? Two, a haiku is a short three-line poem which or originated in Japan. Basho of the 17th century is the most famous proponent. Three, rhyming verse is poetry that consists of rhyming sounds appearing at particular moments. There are so many wonderful poets in this genre. Hey, take your pick. Four, three verse is poetry that lacks a consistent rhyme scheme, metrical pattern, or musical form. Famous for this genre include Walt Whitman and T.S. Eliot. Historically, Western literature can be divided into four major time periods. The dates are approximate. Number one. The Romantic Period, 1800 to 1870. Among the many famous poets in this era are John Keats and William Wordsworth. Ooh, I like William Wordsworth. Two, the Realistic Period, 1865 to 1900. Some consider Robert Frost to be a realistic poet. Three, the Modernist Period, 1890 to 1950. Famous for the Modernist poetry, are T.S. Eliot and William Charles Williams. Four, the contemporary period, 1850 to present. Allen Ginsberg, Sylvia Plath, and Maya Angelou are in this time period. Not only is poetry impacted by the times and its culture, but conversely, poetry has influenced human society for centuries, and its appeal continues to endure. It is a medium that transcends language, culture, and time. Poets have been at the forefront of social and political change, using their work to challenge authority and champion causes such as equality and freedom. Poetry also has been used as a tool for education and self-discovery, inspiring individuals to question the world around them and seek truth and understanding. Poetry has the power to inspire, to provoke thought, and to heal. The use of figurative language, metaphor, and imagery allows poets to communicate their ideas and emotions in ways that are both deeply personal and universally relatable in times of joy and in times of sorrow. Poetry has been a source of comfort, solace, and hope. The thrill of poetry is a celebration of the written word. It delves into the beauty and power of language and how it can be used to arouse emotions and paint vivid pictures in the mind's eye. Through the cadence of rhyme and rhythm, 
Poets have been able to convey messages of love, loss, hope, and so much more. The written word is a remarkable tool for expression, and the joy of poetry is in discovering the endless possibilities it holds. The magic of poetry lies in its ability to transport us to different worlds and times, to make us see the world through different eyes, and to touch our hearts in ways that few art forms can. Of course, the real thrill is actually reading the poetry. And anyone can start reading, and perhaps even start writing, and appreciate it. It does not require any special skills or training, just an open mind and a willingness to experience the world in new and imaginative ways. Poetry can be enjoyed in quiet moments of contemplation or in the company of others, and its impact can be felt for a lifetime. So let's embrace the thrill of poetry and discover all that it has to offer. Whether you are a seasoned enthusiast of or a newcomer to the art form, there is something for everyone in the world of poetry. So pick up a book and start reading, or a pen and start writing, or find a collection of poems and lose yourself in the magic of language. The thrill of poetry awaits you. Guys, remember, you will have 10 years of good luck and fortune if you subscribe and slam the like and notification buttons today. I'll catch you at the next video.